So we gotta go to Sodenbury. Mr. Shakedown! Oh, I don't have any healing items, but I don't have any money in my pockets either. Shit, Mr. Shakedown! Hey, you with the eye patch! Huh? Give me your money! What? Are you trying to shake me down? Guess I'm getting too famous around here for my own good. You're famous? Can I get your autograph? Write my name on it too. Naya Kawahashi. So you can brag to folks back home you met someone famous you never even heard of? Don't you laugh at me! You don't know who I am either. My crew is 2,500 guys strong. So you better show some respect. Cool story, bro, but if it were true, your little gang would grab all the Tojo clan size. I ain't buying it. I'm not lying. I've got a real reputation back home. We're all right, if you say so. So why are you here on your own? Are the other 24,999 guys run out of gas on the way? I'm a lone wolf, that's all. A lone wolf with 25,000 friends to comfort you when you get a little lonely. What's with all these questions? I'm just here in town to have some fun, but I need cash for that, you know? Well, you didn't bring any money? <laughs> why do that when there's plenty of it here? So you're just a kid from the sticks who came to the city for a good time, and you're beating folks up for play money. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least Mr. Shakedown and Camarocho was doing it to get some fucking, like, protein supplements. You picked on the wrong city slickers, though. Your little sudden boy Grand Circle Tour is over! You don't want to give me your money without a fight? That's fine by me! Alright, Shakedown, let's go! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Okay, alright. Alright, so he's uh, a little bit... Yo! Oh, God! He's a little bit stronger than Mr. Shakedown of, fu of Future Past. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up! Whoa! No, oh, and dead. I'm dead. Yeah, he is. Uh, he is quite a bit stronger. Also, Majima's not as leveled up. So, ooh, holy smokes, he's stupid strong. Thanks, loser. Damn it, I busted my ass earning that money. What do I care? If you want to bet, you're welcome to come back. And try the same thing on me. Now, I wish I'd spend their hard-earned cash at a pachinko parlor. Maybe I should treat myself to some sweet time with some sweet ass and cabaret. Please come to the Grand, sir! My precious moolah! I can't let this lie, I gotta beef up and get it back from him with interest. God, I've... I've got no money. I should have invested in myself. A little bit of health. I didn't have enough for I didn't even have enough for some health, so... A little bit of health and some more attacks would probably have helped. <sighs> oh well. Well, that's unfortunate. Don Quixote. Certain glory. Okay. I I should have I should have avoided him. I shouldn't have tried it. But now now that I have no money, I'm gonna pass by a fucking dream machine, aren't I? Damn it! Could just thrown my money into the dream machine. Oh, good. Catharsis. Alright, you dinks. And down. What the- what the fuck? Alright. Come at me, bro. And... snap! 
Alright, now for you. And it's... That, it, that neck snap thing, it doesn't seem to work all the time. It's supposed to be like when they attack you. Do I need to have three bars to do it? I mean, I can't actually find it on here, so... Essence of the Thug, weapon grab. Pull an enemy carrying a weapon and take the weapon from them. Near enemy with light weapon, dagger, and bat. Ooh, that would be fucking useful. Pull out a dagger or a knife concealed on an enemy and attack them with it. Jesus, that's a fucking... You know where I come from, we call that a murder. Holy shit. Alright, where's the shrine here? There's a shrine, right? Certain glory. Pawn shop. Temple. Okay, fuck, I'm going the wrong way. Thought it was... Alright, well, I can at least get some stuff here. Because, I, cause, I mean, there was stuff that Kiryu could get. That, like, there's stuff that like, Kiryu could not get. Which makes me think that... I'm going down the wrong goddamn alleyway, fuck's sake. Which makes you think that the other boxes there are stuff that only Majima could get. So let's see what the... Let's see what the... the Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't have any money, you fuck! But you have nine million. Oh, I want to beat your ass so much, but I don't have anything. I don't have anything f What are you? Hey, Sonny, if you go to spare my wonder, play some noble gamer strategy with me. Who are you? I'm just an old man who likes nothing more than Shogi. Whenever I have time, come sit here waiting for someone to join me for a game. Wow, well, street Shogi player. Well, are you interested in Shogi? I'll give you some slack if you're no experienced player. Maybe I should go. Hey, maybe I could go for a game of Shogi. I'll, I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you, old man. I'm a fucking beat your beat your Shogi playing ass. All right. Hey. What are these guys, a fucking biker gang? What the hell? Like, why they got their fucking math homework? Why they got their fucking math homework on their fucking... Like, did their, mo did their mothers know they're out doing this shit? And that man's dead. And now you're dead. Every fight ends with a death. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much. Take this. You got a slightly better platinum plate. Hey, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright, temple is there. Alright, let's see. And I, and I do have some CP, so this might actually help me out a bit. There, more people need killing. I, I was, I thought I heard a mugging going on the subtitles. Oh well, clown man. Hey, it's me, Ball Boots Noma Zero. Guess what I have for you? The Sotenbori Fun Pack. I got, I got a tattoo and toughness emperor, Tarner, stamina, gold plate. Hey. Alright, Mad Dog Shimano pack. Yes. You got Slime Gun. You got a Steel Crowbar. You got Hawker's Belly Warmer. You got a Stone of Enduring. To change your outfit, use the phone in your hideout. Only works in the Premium Adventure. And if you have the Circus of Sojima, Sojima f Okay, where the fuck do I go for my hideout? The fuck is my hideout? Crafting support. What's this? 24 hour prints. 100 pieces of iron, got 100 pieces of timber, you got 50 pieces of quality iron, iron, got bloody cloth, three demon face stones, and a super spicy knife, and an antique gun. Alright. I'll take that. And fun back too. 
I got a parka, I got frozen sardines. They're nunchucks. Fucking 10 out of 10. Got a platinum plate. Hey, that's good. Is there anything else? Super rare crafting pack. You got a gold ingot, you got silver ingot, you got dragon tears, you got dragon whiskers, you got a diamond plate, and you got a fucking Darth Maul sword. Oh, jeez, okay. Alright, what do we got for... Gotta go face. Card watcher. Visible income. Throw money over a larger area. Cash confetti. What the fuck is that? Battle? Money magnet? That'd be useful. Treasure hunter? Yes. Weapon repairs cost? Yes! And business, which I don't know how to do. Okay. So, let's see what we got for inventory. We have... Equipment! This belly warmer is apparently worn by a traveling hawker. It makes you more patient, so you cover health while standing still. Yes! Uh, give you strength to endure one critical attack. So it will save you from the brink of death. Only worse once. Okay. And we've got a shotgun. <laughs> we got a shotgun of fire that, that might not work on strong enemies. So let's not use that. Got a steel crowbar. Oh, good. We have the fucking Robin killer. Okay. And we have an antique... This antique gun was crafted sometime between the Edo and Meiji period. Still functions as a firearm. It's only got six shots. And we have a... We have a knife! A knife coated in chili peppers! I'm pretty sure that's a war crime! I am, like, pretty fucking sure that's a war crime! The frozen sardines do the most damage. For fuck's sake. Wait, what? You need skills. <laughs> Alright, I guess you need fucking ninja skills to equip that. Alright. Good to know. Oh, jeez, my dude. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, this game is dumb sometimes. I kind of want to beat up Mr. Shakedown. So let's save and see if we can kill him. Okay, so I could not find Mr. Shakedown, but I did go to the pawn shop and I sold all those plates and shit. So let's, uh, let's make ourselves a bit stronger, shall we? All right, so we got the rolling kick. I'll do that. Charged up body blood, did our body blood for charging up his power. Alright, do that. Yeet. And. Rising kick. Rising cock! And. Reverse shin strike. Turn and kick an enemy's shin, in many cases, cause them to drop the ground in pain. Useful. Alright, take that. And. Essence of the thug. Yeah, fuck it. Take that. Two million. Thug Mastery. See which enemies have guns and knives concealed on them. Nothing escapes the eyes of a fighter. Guns show up red, and knives show up yellow. Well, you know what? That's a useful ability. Essence of the Thug. Can I just do this? See which enemies have knives and guns? So I gotta- so how do I- how am I gonna sneak up behind them? That is the question. Combo boost... Eh. Reverse shin strike. Eh. Let's boost my health. Like, I'm just standing in the pawn shop. He's he handed over fucking, like, fucking a hundred and- hundred and million yen. And I'm just like, um, um. Just fucking shoving it into my fucking gaping maw. Power surge. Increase the power of your regular attacks and heat actions when using thug style. Well, that's just useful. Okay. Okay! Phoenix spirit. Heat gauge will only rise over time when you're wounded. However, it'll only fill up with the second bar. Trigger with health gauge flat. Oh, well. What the fuck is the point of that? What the fuck is the point of that? That's, that, oh my god, this fucking, this section of the tree is fucking useless. I'd be better, I'd be better served just spending my money on fucking this shit. 
Right, 50, 50, 50. All right. All right. So now we're, 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 we're pr pretty strong. Pretty strong on that. So, I mean, hey, if I uh, rescue more people, I should have a decent amount of money, and apparently there's a business minigame for each, for Kiryu and Majima, so I should be able to make pretty decent money for the both of them. So I'll be able to beat up, so now if Mr. Shakedown comes, I'll only have a little bit of money for him to steal. Haha, -ha, and I'll be able to shoot him. I'll be able to shoot him with a, with a big fucking gun. Um, I don't think he's spawning, though. Alright, well... I'm gonna go save up here, and I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, because I am getting a little bit hungry. Oh, hey, friends! No, none of them have weapons, huh? No weapons. Fucking dick. And wha boom Nope. <laughs> Down you go. Alright, now you and end it off. Most of those moves I am not gonna get any fucking usage out of, and like for the longest time, but at least I have them now. Okay, I cannot use it out of combat. That is unfortunate. I would be able to That'd be a good way to plan out a fight before it starts, but... Oh, well. That's how it goes. Oh, wait. We got a, uh... Dream machine over here. Hang on. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Stamina and spark. Ooh. Spooky. Alright. Do any of you have weapons? I mean, you Yakuzis. Nope, none of you got none of you got weapons, eh? I got plenty of weapons. Ooh, just punch him right in the dick. And right, let me behind you. And there we go. Snap! <laughs> hey, bud! I just snapped your friend's neck! That man's dead! That man's fucking dead! Oh, I can't do it while I'm blocking, I guess. Or not blocking, but... Like, it's really fucking... Ooh! Like the game's really like stingy about when it wants when it wants me to be able to use it or not. Like, like and I also can't see how much it actually costs. It costs like do I need to be at a certain level of heat, or do I need only need like a certain amount in the box? It only takes one bar of heat to use, but it seems like I need to have like a full two to actually use it, which is weird. But whatever, go ahead and save, yeah. All right, let's get you some food, Majima. I could go to arcade. No, no, I'm not gonna do. It. But maybe it's. Hang on, I, I actually do want to see if it's different. Now I think about it. Now I think about it. It might actually be a little bit different. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we got Space Harrier. Uh, okay, looks like it's more or less the same. But I do want I do want to actually get that I do want to get that guy that 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 bird am I over it I should be over it okay I want to get that bird what I, I swear I was holding the button. God fucking damn it. No, I can do it though. Hold up. Ah! Oh! 
no, wait, no. I got it. I got it. I am a master. Congratulations. I got the, I got the kappa. Alright. Claw right. Alright, I want to get one of these, uh... One of, the, one of these, one of these pod boys. Hold up. I should have it now. No, it's, it's gonna hit them both. Yeah! Oh well. I got the, I got the thing I wanted. I got, I got the thing I fucking wanted. Don't even give a shit. I'm out. Majima walks in the arcade with one thing, with one thing as his target, and he leaves with that thing. Oh, Mr. Shakedown's right there at the fucking quest trigger, so I don't even... You think this is a joke, pal? Nani? What's that going, what's that guy going, Buzz? I'm pretty pissed. There's a fight going on down there. What's going on? That guy has a fucking sword. What? What kind of ass kind of goes on a raid with a big honking sword like this, you moron? Don't you got any daggers or guns? You know, normal weapons? You can't see the appeal of a Chinese broadsword? That's why I was hesitant to sell it to you. Why are you selling Chinese broadswords in Japan? That just sounds like a way to get your ass kicked. The Chinese and Japanese tend to not be big fans of each other. The Chinese word for Japanese means dwarf. In the most polite version of the translation. The actual translation is midget. You're making this about me? Awful cocky for a two-bit black market front. The whole, po whole point of business is giving your clients what they want. Sounds like an arms deal. This ain't something I want to get involved with. I deal only with clients I respect. If you would prove that you are worthy of my weapons, undergo my test. Test the hell you on about now. You and I will spar. Defeat me, and you pass. I'm getting real tired of your high and mighty talk. Fine, you want to fight? I'll take you. See how you like your precious can opener when I'm using it on you. Indeed, that's the point. It's the test of your proficiency with a weapon. Uh Is this where I lose learn a new skill? Yeah, this is where Alright, what's Majima gonna say? He's not gonna say that's red, is he? That was a heat move and a half. Yeah, that's a heat move. Holy shit! But where are you getting the bat? Where'd you get the baseball bat from, Majima? Where, where'd you get the bat? So I imagine Majima's styles are all based around weapons then, yeah? Where, 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 where are we gonna get the bat? The hell are those moves with that stick? That's no martial art I've ever seen. He's got the other dude's sword looking like a damn chopstick. Son of a bitch! You fail. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, well, what do you expect giving me a shit sword like this? A staff you've got a way better weapon. This isn't merely a piece of lumber. The sword you hold, on the other hand, is a masterwork I painstakingly crafted. Nani! But apparently you are unfit to wield it. I would ask that you do not return to my stop again. Huh? To hell with your damn shop! I hope it burns with you in it! Rumor said you were a dealer to beat, so I went to the boulder tracking you down. And for what? You fraud! He gave you a Chinese broadsword. That can't be that can't be easy to come about in fucking Japan. It is pretty shitty for, you know, doing crimes. Because, I mean, oh yeah, look for the guy with the Chinese broadsword, but still. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, Majima, curious meeting you here. Oh, it's you. Don't spook me like that, Gramps. I was merely wandering about in search of a place where the two of us could spar interrupt uninterrupted. 
That's so. Well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment. A real nasty customer at that. Oh, he's Chinese. Okay. That explains the Chinese broadsword. His name is Fai Hu, a local arms dealer. Quite the master himself, too, so long as a weapon rested in his hands. Nani? What, you know that guy? Yes, he's my brother! I knew his father for ages back when he walked this earth. Checking on in on him was half my reason for coming to Sotenbori. As long as we all are here, why don't I introduce you? you do. Hey, I didn't ask for any favors. Oh, don't be so stubborn. This will be good for the both of you. How'd you figure? Besides, the time to sneak off has long past. It seems Fuei Hu has been aware of your presence from the start. Because ancient Chinese secret. Nani! Apologies, Komeki-san, but I do not trust this man. He has an air of danger about him. He has a shifty eye. Now, don't you go being stubborn on me, too. Stay late no longer and put him to the test. I can tell you already, this young man will most certainly pass. Say what? Not me the fuck? Why the hell do I gotta take a test? I got no business with this guy's shop. Come, come, Majima. I saw that look on your face as you bore witness to their fight. A look of inspiration. A look of, dare I say, that's right. And now your silence speaks volumes of truth. That curiosity of yours is one of the keenest tools in your armory. Nothing fancy enough to call inspiration, just a few dumb thoughts rattling around. Say, do you know where I can play baseball? Because apparently, um... Uh, Momo told me that Majima fucking loves baseball, which explains the bat. Yes, but what if they were enough to match Fuei Hu's skill? They'd be less dumb, stray thoughts, and more akin to a full-blown Revelaton. Whether you give that Revelaton life or snuff it out is your choice. Care to at least give it a try? <sighs> Listen, I've had a long ass day and I'm tired as a dog. Let's make this quick. I assume you have no objections, Fei Hu. You recommend him so strongly. Very well. It is settled then. Now what'll it be? This man is an arms dealer. He can procure for you almost anything you might want. Like a gun! Hmm. Nah, I'm good with that beat up old bat over there. You could have got a good bat though. Nani? A baseball bat? Is the legends true? Of the baseball bat wearing where fuck the baseball bat wielding pirate of Sodenbori. Just just lucky there happened to be a fucking bat laying around, didn't there? Well, is this gonna be based on like you need to have a, a, a bat shaped weapon nearby? Doggo! Look at the doggo! You can see its little butt. This should be quite an entertaining match. Steady now, begin! All right, shifty-eyed man. Let's go. Switch to slugger style. Switch to slugger style by pressing right. Okay. Oh, the bat's infinite. Try mastering the strong defensive potential a bat offers. When using a weapon, you are less likely to be staggered by an attack. Use a bat to protect yourself from Frey Hu's vicious assault. So can I use more than- can I like get like stronger bats? Like if I found a bat that had a higher um, attack value, could I use it instead? That actually makes me curious. It's also really loud. Use Slugger style to defeat Fuei Hu and pass the test. Oh, that's fucking great! How do you defeat that? <laughs> I spent my money in the wrong place. How do you defeat that? I certainly did not expect you to use a bat so well. You're quite an interesting fellow. Just remembered using one back when I was running raids on the competition. Think I've improved since then, though. Jesus Christ, Majima, that's... That's an infinite fucking combo, I'm pretty sure. Surprise me, too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think a spur-of-the-moment selection like that would get you far against Fei Hu. Shows what I know. So, uh, Fei Hu, right? What do you think my bat work? You pass with flying colors, of course. You are precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. Take this assault rifle! Your weapon shop, you mean. 
That's nice of you to offer, but as you've seen, I ain't real interested in the conventional stuff. <laughs> so much the better! I'm not a common dealer pawning off weapons I've scavenged. Well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I would enjoy the chance to escort you there and explain exactly what it is we do. Oh, God, like, I want to go in there and he's like, here is a minigun. <laughs> like, imagine, like, walking into the final boss with a goddamn minigun. This is our shop, the Dragon and Tiger. Outwardly, a Chinese restaurant obviously by myself and my wife. Yeah? This is my wife, Long Hua. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna refrain from the long joke. New customer, yes? Many happy return! And? You said it wasn't your average weapons store. What exactly is it, then? Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand-forged by me. Bespoke arms, you might call them. Made to order, huh? So you ain't an arms trader, you're a smith, is what you're saying. Glorious Nippon Steer! Folded one thousand times! Cut through, cut through Gaijin arm like butter. Precisely. Now if I may, I would like to explain how it is I go about making weapons. At the Dragon and Tiger, you can list a host of agents to locate weapons, gear, and other equipment. They can be hired to hunt down the following three strict categories, gear, recipes, and parts. Um, put the agent's skills to use and gather the world's most powerful weaponry and equipment at your fingertips. So you send these agents out around the globe looking for rare materials and such. It's like a Facebook game. You know, I wouldn't mind a phone game that was like this kind of thing. Even though this is kind of like a like a lower tech version of what the girls' frontline is, to be honest. But eh. Hi. Our goal is to develop a robust network with arms dealers the world over. The agent's work takes him far from civilization. So basically, you've got these guys searching for treasure out in the jungle and shit. I'm all about that, actually. <laughs> That's actually the raddest shit I've ever heard. Indeed, remote archaeological sites produce some of the most beautifully wrought and historically important weaponry. My shop is always on the lookout for such gems. We have traveled to the ancient ruins of the long-lost empire known as America, and discovered the magic of their wonderful Second Amendment. This is an ancient weapon we believe was called the R-15. Furthermore, customers with contributions past a certain level are granted special- Fuck. Past a certain level, they're great. We have a special reward. Private arms less. Okay, this is how I level up my bat style, right. Yeah, so I'm guessing that means you were holding back when we fought out there. Naturally. That was only a test. Heh, <laughs> you're one slippery eel. Ah! Speaking of fish, I just remembered I ain't ate yet! I'm half starved to death here. You said this place is a Chinese spot by day, yeah? Give me the house special, would you? Ay yeah, you customer for that side of business too? You wait, I fix you feast. Wow, what a nice lady. I wonder if I could beat Mr. Shakedown with that infinite fucking combo. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to get some levels going. Majima, there's a favor I would ask of you. What now? I don't need to tell you not to spread word of their business, but I'd also ask you to keep vigil over them. Why's that? The happy couple in some kind of trouble? I cannot share the details now, my son. But in time, their shop may draw the ire of a terrible fo Oh, side quest! What's that supposed to mean? Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I ask only that you drop by when you think of it. Perhaps buy something, send them out on a search, that sort of thing. Uh, dude, I am going to craft the shit out of some illegal fucking weaponry. Holy shit. Yeah, alright. I'm headed into the wilderness to trade. Don't go letting an edge of yours dull, either. I'm gonna go beat up a fucking bear. Alright. He comes back, he's wearing like a like a, like Hercules with the Nimian lion, he's just got like a bear skull and a cape. Love magic.